Hi, and welcome to A Chico Affair. I'm your host, Ev Durant. Still no new green screen yet this week, but that's alright, because we've got a pretty awesome show for you regardless. We're going to sit down with local comedic extraordinaire John Ross. Just shit on me. Like, go <laughs> ahead, it's going to make a better yeah, show. Honestly, yeah. We're going to meet up and talk to some people outside of the new downtown hotspot, The Beach, which celebrated its grand opening this last Friday. And my friend Christian and I are going to get waterboarded. We're going to start with a feature on a new taxi company here in Chico called the Karaoke Taxi Cab. So check that out. Karaoke Taxi Cab was started by Kyle Brock and Jordan Cox, both of whom I've known since elementary school. Um, Jordan has driven a cab for almost a couple of years now, okay. and so Jordan and I have been best buds since fifth grade. And he's not lying. Here's a picture of the two of them and a photo I snapped at Woodleaf in sixth grade. And here's Kyle and I in fifth grade. Bunny ears are so cool. <laughs> Man, man, we're just excited that you guys came out with us, and uh, Ev, you've got a great show. I love it on YouTube, man. So, in terms of what we're doing, I don't know. It all kind of just started blowing up. <laughs> now, um, on a serious note, we've been working months and months on this crazy idea, this whole uh, idea of having a karaoke taxi cab. And this is the only one we've got so far, but it's been a very, very positive response so far. We're just going to keep keep uh, trying to grow the company it's it's a very exciting time man so when people call the uh, you know karaoke taxi cab here and then get in what's what's the process here they just start singing or what you you got it I mean we've got two wireless microphones right here so when they get in we we hand them over a mic right on. <laughs> and pretty much uh, they just open up the mic and they punch in whatever number they want Wait, you have like uh, one in particular fair that stands out as being especially crazy or wild or memorable? <laughs> well, uh, they had, had some really wild people in this car already. We have uh, probably a funny one. We had this guy, he's like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom, man. So we pulled over and hopped right out and went right beside the cab. <laughs> <laughs> Did he keep singing too? And then he handed us the payment right after. <laughs> <laughs> We washed our hands. So you put that right directly into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and we always sanitize the mics too. You never know what's going to happen. So very true. <laughs> Haven't had any um, spewing experiences yet, but it's around the corner. I guarantee that. <laughs> as long as you're ready for it, as prepared as with the we, yet. We, and we are. We are ready for it. We've got a puke pail in the back, oh, paper man. towels, Resolve, great for the carpet, hand sanitizer, uh, Windex. Doing? Next stop is the East Side. <laughs> how, was the, how was the karaoke cab ride? It was awesome. Yeah. Next, I sit down with local funny man John Ross to find out a little bit more about the Chico comedy scene. All right, so I'm sitting here right now with John Ross. John Ross, you are a local comedian, is that correct? Yes. All yeah. right, and you, uh, I saw an article about you actually in the Chico News and Review. Okay. And so I learned that you came up from Sacramento, is that right? Yeah, I just moved here about uh, four months ago. Right on. Yeah. Okay. And so, what kind of stuff are you doing up here in Chico? Uh, kind of the intentions of moving up here were to um, try to open up a comedy place, like a comedy club. Comedy specific. Or a venue. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Did, I did comedy here at the Blue Room about uh, eight months ago. Okay. Through the Bussolini's comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've seen a couple of those. Yeah. Right. So, uh, you said your ultimate goal is to create your own, open your own club. Is yeah. That right? Yeah. Yeah. How's that looking for you? Uh, it's It's... Been moving slowly. Okay. Uh, we did a lot of research. My wife and I did a lot of research before we came here, and um, and it's taking. There's a lot of red tape and stuff like that. So yeah. we're just kind of wading through it slowly. But our kind of goal is to start a kind of an alternative venue. I can ask. Are you? This could be totally wrong. No. But are you involved with the uh, the comedy on the couch? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what exactly is that? Comedy from the couch. It's a uh, it's a show I created like three years ago in Sacramento and did it at a place called the Sacramento Comedy Spot. Okay. And it just started off as a show where uh, I would get three of my friends, and are we allowed to cuss? Oh yeah. So, oh okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> <Yeah>. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. 
And I fucked the shit out of my friends on stage. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. It's like the aristocrats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, Comedy from the Couch basically was a show where I'd get three comics, sit them on a couch, and then one guy would go up and do stand-up, and the two would sit on the couch and just bag on him while he's on stage. And okay. just would turn into a fight on yeah. stage. Or we'd tag each other's jokes. Um, and so that's kind of how it originally started. And then um, it's kind of evolved like a lot where stand-up's kind of a secondary part of it now. Where Okay. Uh, a guy named uh, Bill Saparito and uh, Mike Hoopengarner. Um, all three of us came together and really have produced the show where it's it's like sketch, improv, and stand oh, nice. up, and just games. Right. And, and then are you? I've, have I seen you on the couch down at the farmers market before? Is that yes? Yeah, yeah, that was a little marketing ploy that okay. was hot. Where uh, Bill always dresses in a tuxedo for all the shows. Okay, and I always dress in kind of a suit jacket. So we went on the farmers market, just hand out flyers, pushed each other around on the couch. Nice. Yeah, I remember seeing a couch on wheels. And yeah, I was like, oh. and we were just handing out flyers and right inter- interviewing people like it was a late night show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just kind of doing that. That's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Well, you got the uh, the open oh, my mic. God. This might be seen by like four hundred people. Four hundred. Oh, watch out. 400. That, that's a high estimate, too. <laughs> dozens and dozens. <laughs> dozens upon dozens. Um, I don't know. Just, hey, come out to shows. Come out to, so, I mean, I hate saying, come out and support live comedy. Yeah. I mean, it's, they, they say the average comedy fan goes out like two times a year to see comedy. <laughs> and so we're doing our best to not make it shitty. Um, <laughs> do you have any shows coming up in the immediate future? Anything that uh... I do. Uh, Keith Lowell Jensen. I connect, I'm going to grab the flyer. Uh, I have a show here. I forget what day. September 20. No, that's in San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> Chico. All right, there we go. September 22nd. September 22nd. Uh, Keith Lowell Jensen. Uh, he's a friend of mine um, that I was on a comedy tour with called uh, the Coexist Comedy Tour, where it was like an atheist, a Jew, a Muslim, oh, a Buddhist. Nice. And I was the Christian on it. I'm not a Christian anymore. Uh, <laughs> we won't go into that. Um, That's another no, story. But, uh, he's an atheist comedian. I don't know if he'll do a lot of atheist material at this show, but he's really funny. He's out of Sacramento. Um, and he's all over the place. Um, and so I'll be opening for him. Oh, even, nice. Even though I'm funnier. Him, <laughs> which is weird. Right? right? Yeah. Uh, September 22nd. I don't even know what day that is. September 22nd. Neither do I. But it's here at the Blue Room. We're here at the Blue Room. We'll find out what day. We'll put it up on the screen. At 9.30. 9.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m. So, yeah. On Friday, a new club opened up downtown called The Beach, and the turnout was crazy. So we were there. Good. Yeah. All right. Woo! Ladies, what are you guys doing out here? Bachelorette. Bachelorette. Party. Party. What's your name? The Bachelorette. Tasha. Tasha. All right. You pretty excited or what? Duh. Yeah. <laughs> you knock them around here, are you? Oh, Sacramento. Sacramento. Right on. You came up to Chico for the Bachelorette party? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, Ken's working at uh, the new new hotspot, right? Yep. What's the deal with the man? The beach. Okay, the beach just popped open tonight at nine o'clock. Uh, basically, we got VIP room, really, really nice, twenty buck cover, thirty for a couple. Uh, we got everything up there from, dude, anything you put in your drink you want, raspberries, blueberries, pineapple, whatever you want, man. Uh, Two dollar cover gets you a drink voucher, which is usable at any of our three bars, downtown bars, Panama's, the beach, or the U bar. Um, sit on my face. <laughs> Other than that, you can sit on his face and uh, yeah, man. Encourage everybody to come out, man. It's kicking club. It's gonna be well. Right on. Yeah, you guys got a crowd out here. Yeah, we do. It's a little full. It's like a, it's like a Halloween. Nice. All time score at Chico State Soccer. We all yeah, we all are the love the soccer. We just all all yeah, we're here for one of our guys passed away. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's young age. Eric Casada. Eric Casada. Legend. 86 Legend. 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 Don Beatty, we just had dinner with Don Beatty, our head coach, okay. athletic director, and uh, we're back here in Chico. <laughs> Not all you guys are living here currently? No. 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 The reason why we're here today is because of Eric Casada. Yeah. 
Eric Casada was a saying legend. And those uh, short so. skirts. <laughs> Can you zoom in on those? <laughs> We've been zooming in on those all Hey, we're here for your opening night. The economy is live and well in Chico right now. I'll tell you that much. I'm trying to get back in there and hang out with that bachelorette party. <laughs> that's, that's the goal. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm sneaking in ventilation. <laughs> I think I can scale this brick wall. It's fucking Spider-Man some shit. <laughs> and lastly... Alright, so uh, I'm here with my dear friend Christian right now, and uh, we're going to get waterboarded. Tell us why, Christian. Well, we're going to discover if waterboarding is torture or not. Uh, we're not going to really answer the question of if torture is a viable method of interrogation. We just want to find out if waterboarding is torture. We know Chico is dying to know. <laughs> See, the age old question. Yeah, seriously. Okay, let's do it. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, it's gonna get me in big trouble today. <laughs> take, take it like a champ. More. Heavier. Heavier flow. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for another round? Yep. <laughs> Dump the whole shitload on there. <laughs> That's pretty fucking awful. <laughs> All right, I want to do it. Three, two, one. Uh, I wasn't filming. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Ah. <coughs> ah. Uh, uh, there's so much goes in your sinuses. Yeah. Like just immediate. It's like that horrible feeling. Like. Ah. Uh, and it doesn't go away. I'll try it again. I might as well do one more. All right. We out here waterboarding. <laughs> what you know about this cheek of waterboard set? <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know how anybody could go longer, like to be against your will and have this done yeah. to you. Yeah, that's. I don't. I don't. Know. That's the troubling part because it's so. It was so easy for us just to pull it off when we were done. Yeah. But it's definitely a good way to get information out of people. Yeah. Because I will tell you anything you <laughs> want to know. Where's the holy god? Okay. Well, that was fun, Christian. Let's do it again sometime. Uh, yeah, we know that uh, this is very tame in comparison to the real thing. Right. And we're not even trying to, to say that we've experienced anything close to what it would really be like. But that... It was miserable. That, that, that's truly... To, I can't... We had the luxury of, like, as soon as, you know, just seconds into it, when we started feeling overwhelmed, we could just pull the thing away, and it was still just terrifying. And I can't imagine what it would be like to, you know, be like strapped on against your will, you know, just forcing that down, you know, your throat and in your nose, and that's intense, man. Yeah. That'll do it for us this week. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and those of you who repost and share our episodes online, I want to thank you too, I see it, and it means a lot. Make sure that you check out and support our local comedy scene here in Chico, and if you ever need a break from the norm, you need a ride somewhere, give my friends over at Karaoke Taxi Cab a call, they will cheer you up, I promise, it's a fun time. You can always email me. My email address is evduran at achicoaffair.com. If you have any questions, concerns, ideas, comments, whatever. And uh, that should do it for us. So peace and love. And we'll see you next week.